Hello and welcome. You are watching I Know How. Welcome back, guys. Uh, today I'm going to disassemble Dell Inspiron N5010. Uh, it has Intel Core i5 uh, processor. Uh, without any delay, let's strip down this laptop. Before you do any. Before we begin, please press the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for the instant updates. Before you do anything, just set down your laptop, uh, make sure it's powered down and then remove the battery. Battery off. Alright, so I can see one cover over here. First, let's open it up. Um, I can see a RAM, so this is a RAM co cover, check out the RAM. Next thing I can see a CD drive, lose this screw, open this screw and then slide the CD drive. Remove the number of screws as shown in the screen. Before starting off to remove the screws, I'm gonna so um, so there is two scr four screws over here that is for the hard drive <coughs> but this one does not have a hard drive so this has already been removed um, on the top on the top right and top left there is a cover it's a screw cover take this cover out and then you will be able to remove the screw underneath All right, so let's start removing the screws now. Alright, all the screws has been removed on the back cover. Um, before you do anything, there is a SD card blank plate. Just remove it. Um, after that, flip it over, and we will remove the keyboard now. <coughs> on this model, you have to remove the keyboard first. So. Try to lift. Uh, basically, there is four lacking lacking uh, position, like uh, locking positions. One over there, two, three, and four. So just press it towards the screen and try to lift one key. So you can see it's lifted. Hold that lift position and then unlock other locks it feels like there is one screw left somewhere all right so we missed one screw over here just remove that screw and again so. all right the keyboard is lift now Just slide it up and then lift this flap to disconnect the keyboard Now you can see some screws over here, one, two, three, four and five. So there's five screws, remove them. All right, screws removed. Let's disconnect some cables over here. Um, first one is power button. 
disconnect that um, this one not sure right now but disconnect now and this one we'll find it out what are these cables for um, now take a spudger and run across the bottom and to the right all right so you just need to run the spuzzer bottom and left and right just lift it up all right so that connection was for the leds and this one was for the touchpad okay so to remove the motherboard we need to disconnect all the connectors first uh, this one is for the display cable so it's for the screen another one oh, sorry this one is for the usb board and vga cable at the back and this one is for the screen um, this is speaker and this is for and this is for SD card slot we have a Bluetooth module over here disconnected all right so everything that is connected is removed um, you can also remove Wi-Fi card over here just remove the screw disconnect this cable and that's it and let's remove the motherboard there are a number of screws that is holding the motherboard uh, I can only see, uh, I can only see one two and nothing more so just remove two screws so this motherboard is attached to the bottom board so apply a small pressure on the board and lift this up first and then let's see how loose is it you can feel some resistance over here so there might be something else connected to as well all right so this locking this thing is holding this plastic bit is holding it so push it other way and that's it motherboard is off um, Please have a look with my other videos um, to change the thermal compound of the CPU. It's just simple, three, remove three screws, four screws and change the thermal paste. Have a look into my other videos, it will to show you how, how to change the thermal paste of the CPU. So that's motherboard off, so that's motherboard off. Um, the only thing left is heatsink, easily removable by four screws and a fan disconnect the fan remove the fan you can also change them you can also change the motherboard heatsink and fan as well it's, it's pretty much uh, simple apart from that to remove the screen there's two screws over here and there's two screws over here it's simple as that you can also remove this board and then change it so that's it guys for disassembling the laptop up to the motherboard level uh, let me know on the comment section if you want to see more about it or if you want if you need any suggestion on this laptop as well to assemble it back it's pretty much simple to assemble it back it's pretty much simple just go on a reverse order so the motherboard first make sure nothing is trapped under the motherboard and make sure this connection and that connection is connected properly
plus the screws back which connects the two boards motherboard and the sideboard connect the display cable and connect this VGA port connection um, the Bluetooth module put it back I've told you about the hard drive uh, you have to remove the four screws the hard drive will be loose and then slide it out that's it it's not so now the palm rest just put align it and then just press it connect all the connectors back all right replace um, the five screws six screws All right, so palm rest is on now. Um, I'm gonna put the keyboard in now. Just lift this flap, put the connector in, and press the flap. That's it. Um, slide the keyboard down, and then press it on the top so that it locks up again. So everything is locked up, and now we're gonna put all the screws back in. I'll just put the I'll just put the RAM now so that I don't have to do that later. It's up to you. Place this uh, blanking plate inside. I'm gonna connect the CD drive now because there is no screws hiding behind the CD drive. You can put it now. So now place all the screws back in uh, this is the screw we forgot to take it out in the beginning so I'm gonna start from there Alright guys, uh, this is the video for uh, strip down of Dell Inspiron N5010. Um, hopefully this video will help you to replace some parts of the laptop. Uh, from You can replace keyboard, uh, repla uh, upgrade SSD, upgrade RAM, replace uh, Wi-Fi card, uh, heatsink, fan. You can also replace motherboard as well and uh, some other bits and pieces as you can already seen on the video hope you like the video if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comments section and if you have enjoyed this video remember to like and subscribe below to keep up with more upcoming videos hit the bell icon have a good time until next video see you then bye bye